YouTube and welcome back to AVVR Android application for Cardboard with Unity Part 3. So, in the previous tutorials, we have downloaded the, the essential files and have configured Unity. Now we have to configure the prefabs and other components that we have imported. So let's get started. First, in the air camera, head on to by bind alternate camera and assign the cameras in cardboard main as head as a central anchor point left camera as in the one in the left camera and right camera as right camera check synchronize post updates and check if the viewer is set to cardboard or set it to cardboard next you have to check on in the load data set tutorial and click activate then move on to cardboard main over here tap is trigger should be unchecked rest all settings remains the same next move on to head in head remember to uncheck track position and check update early then move on to main camera in main camera see that the clear flag is set to solid color and the color as black and also see that the clipping planes are near as 0.3 and 1000 which can be changed according to the position of the target next what we have to do is change the stereo multiplier it should be between 0.1 to 0.2 it is basically the distance between the two cameras on our screen next uncheck the check stereo comfort this should be unchecked repeat the same steps for camera left that is change the color and set the clipping planes and then for the camera right once this is done move on to image target in the image target set the data set as the one you imported tutorial next the image target the image that we have to create augmentation on next next what you have to do is import the asset the asset or the 3d model it can be created using uh, modeling software such as sketchup i have created this congratulations by just typing into 3d text whatever text you want to put in now you have to click on assets import new asset and point it to your skp file kongs.skp it will be imported like this once imported drag and drop and put it onto the surface of your image You can either resize it if you want. So let's resize it once and rotate it. And again, move it so that it can be placed horizontally. Nice and good. Okay, once this is done, you have to make a minor changes into the code. For example, go to assets, go to cardboard and scripts in scripts first we'll change cardboard head.cs open this over here search for update head function we'll find update head as private word update head on the end of this method you have uh, within this method add this line where that is before dot before behavior dot instance dot update state false comma true once this is done open the cardboard i dot cs in the same folder and go to line number 171 that is after this if statement 
you have to add euphoria dot euphoria behavior dot instance dot apply corrected position matrix project comma i and this don't worry i have added this in the description next once this is done you have to edit base cardboard device dot cs this is available in vr devices and base cardboard devices dot cs so for that you open this and search for debug If you find debug, make debug disable na native distortion as true. Next, you have to change minor changes into Android manifest file. Go into manifest file that can be accessed from assets, plugins, Android, Android manifest. Over there, add the permission of camera, Wi-Fi state, and network state. Save all the files by keeping the line ending same once this is done what you have to do is remember to add the imported model as a child of the image target so i've added kongs as the child of the image target sorry not this image target yeah now it's a child of the image target also add a directional light so that the object can be lightened by right clicking onto it light and directional light so this would add a directional light which i've already added next what you have to do it we have to compile it for our android purposes so for that first give it a name edit project settings layer over here change the package name that's basically all you wanted to do rather than that you can also change the icons and stuff like that the main Android related information then go to build settings if you have not yet installed the Android package for unity for 32 bit so there you're gonna not gonna see these options on the screen so for that you have to install the package which I've already told you earlier to be downloaded in my tutorial one so this is the package Android support you have to download it and double click it to install once installed, you're gonna see these options up here. You just have to click build and run to build it onto your phone. A point to note, this will not work in while playing, while clicking on the play button in Unity, and it will only show a black screen. But, but when you will run it and build it on your phone, that is Android, it will run perfectly. So let me show you how it is done, right? Build settings, build and run. We'll name it, save. Yes. So make sure your phone is connected and is in debugging mode, and the USB drivers are installed and accessed by ADB. For that, you can check my another tutorial. Now let us see how it runs on the mobile. can see the text congratulations has been augmented